this piece called, I have to look, Street Art Altar. Right. Um, the reason I have to look is because the, the titles are really not that important to me. And the real work of this piece is a conglomeration of images and installations that I did in New York and inspirations and influences. So I'll just deconstruct it for you a little bit. And then um, what I was, what I'm trying to say in this particular piece is um, there are some Buddhist ideas about what is real and what is not real. And um, the, if you look closely in here, you'll see these vases. This part um, of the vase was cut out. I photographed, I was very interested in this time <laughs> in the difference between the artificial and the non-artificial. Let us say that in flowers, when I was in New York, I often uh, noticed that in the Taoist or, or Buddhist uh, temples that I visited, the flowers were not real. And what is the difference between the real and the unreal? And, and is it necessary that the flowers be real? So at this particular point, I wanted to leave um, this gift of, of, of flowers in New York at a variety of sites in which wheat paste artists were working or in, at sites in which um, other things were happening. So I photographed, I went to the Dollar Tree, and I got this wonderful gaudy bouquet, photographed it, and uh, then began to leave it in various sites. So this is a kind of conglomeration of different installations. And what I've also done is to combine it with some things that I was observing in New York that I felt were very, very close to my ideas about permanence and impermanence. One was um, at a construction site, there were these signs that said hollow sidewalk. Now I think if you're a New Yorker, the notion of a hollow sidewalk means someone's working underneath, right? But if you're not a New Yorker, it's almost a Buddhist expression. What can we stand on? It's hollow. What do we have to stand on? So I found it to be, every time I saw it, it, it was like seeing the sign on the highway, soft shoulders. Because every time I see soft shoulder, I, I can tell you I don't think about highways. So a little bit of dyslexia on my part. Anyway, um, so this, this piece really is an altar to street art, but it's also an altar to, to my belief, uh, my Buddhist beliefs, and my love of the notion of beauty and the idea of making work and leaving it behind as an offering to anyone who comes by. I also wanted to bring together a lot of the things I love. This, these are actually apples from my Shinseki tree. They're golden apples, and I'm very interested. I'm interested in images, metaphors, God only knows. These are photographs of someone who's working on the street who actually laid down these circles and then sprayed gold paint around them. And then this is a drawing that I did. Uh, this semi-apple on a friend was tearing up her bathroom floor and it was this beautiful black tar sort of substance and I said oh let me come and do a drawing so I came and did a drawing of golden apples and then the next day it was all gone it was all in pieces because they were taking the floor up and taking it out wherever so there's that and then what you see up here is the bottom of a very beautiful Tonka from the Rubin Museum of Art of the Buddha of the Future. So this is the lotus blossom that this Buddha is sitting on, and this, this is part of the original piece, too. This is the Wheel of Dharma. And then there are other little things that I've kind of tried to combine in here, such as um, this construction site. One of the construction sites that I worked on had, had a sign that said here, and an arrow pointing out to nothing. So I thought, 
I thought, well, that's, that's sort of a you know, really interesting concept. I like the fact that I could take Hollow's sidewalk and break it into things like low and play with the words or do. All of those things are references to the ephemeral quality of life. And then um, there, there is the inevitable, if you can read it in here, which you probably can't, post snow bills, which I photographed not on one of my originals, but somewhere in the city and then took it apart and made it into a decorative border.